Cruz. Hi. I was just on my way out. Well, I, well actually, would, would you mind staying for a minute? Daddy? I was just at the hospital. I went to see Kelly. Did you see her? No, they wouldn't let me see her. But she was being brought down the hall at the same time. She recognized me. She wanted to see me and talk to me, but they wouldn't let her. Honey, the doctor said no visitors, at least not for a while. Well, he's wrong. She looked desperate to see me. Well, we have to respect his opinion, don't we? Look, Daddy, she's isolated from everything that's important to her. How can that be good for her? I think we should take her out of the hospital and at least put her in another one. Can we petition to have her moved, Chris? I'm sure you can. I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, Rowling's got an excellent reputation. You think I'd leave her there if I thought harm was going to come to her? No, but I'm telling you, she needs her family. And if Mr. Rowling says she doesn't, he's wrong. He could be wrong about a lot of things. All right. Let me, uh, let me check into it. I just want to see her. I just want to talk to her. Yeah, I bet. You know, maybe I could do something. What can you do? Well, I'm not sure, but it's worth a try. See, uh, I'm connected with... Oh, let me get that. Yeah, why don't you get that? <laughs> Hello, Ethan. I have an appointment with your father. You want to come in? Of course. Day two. What is it? Well, I have the final papers giving uh, you and Santana legal guardianship of Brandon. I've been waiting for this day for the longest time. Thank you, CC. You're a good mother, Santana. Just keep being that. That's all I can ask. Got the papers in the study. I'll get them for you. I'm happy for you, Santana. Thank you. I guess it's good that you are here, whatever the reason may be. Papers today. Because you've been busy. Yeah, I know, but this this is a pretty good day. You know, Santana, Brandon seems much happier since he's been with you. He is. Everyone's noticed the change in him. By the way, I'm only here because of an official complaint. Mr. C, call the department and ask for somebody to come down. No, you don't owe me an explanation. I don't think there's anything that could ruin this day. CC, I have to talk to you. Do you know what do you want? I know why you're here, Santana. But it's not over yet. Cece. Tina, I thought I heard your gentle voice. Did you bring your lunch? Look, I have to talk to you. Not now. I'm busy. Santana, Brandon is now officially and legally yours. Cruz, I've made you the guardian as well. No, no, wait. It's too late, Gina. No, no, it's not. I've got something that'll change your life forever. And I'll show it to you. As long as you promise not to give those papers to Santana, if you care anything at all for your family, you'll give me five minutes. Ethan, would you take Cruz and Santana into the other room, please? Sissy, you're not going to let her change your mind. Santana, please, go into the living room. I'll be with you in a moment. I just want to finish up with Gina. Please. I wish you would outgrow these 11th hour theatrics. Brandon belongs to me. Not anymore. He's like a new boy. He's bright and he's happy. He's miserable without me, and I want him back. Well, you're not going to get him back. Yes, I am. I'm going to get him back, and I'm going to get him back with this. Bribing me with a skin flick? It won't work, Gene. I can make my own. This is evidence, Cece. Evidence for what? I'll show you. You want this more than anything you've ever wanted in your entire life. This is one show you're not going to want to miss. Santana. Santana. This is a great day. Well, great. I was just about to have lunch with your wife. Why don't you join us? Well, I can't. Actually, I'd just like to talk to you about a favor. Can you, do you have a few minutes? Sure, come on, sit down. I'm gonna see her. Apparently, this Dr. Rawlings is refusing all visitors. We don't know anything about her treatment because we can't get in to see her. We don't know what's going on. Uh, what is it exactly that you want? 
Well, I was hoping maybe you could put some pressure on Dr. Rawlings or talk to the judge and have her put some pressure on him. I all I want to do is see my sister. Well, hasn't anyone talked to the judge? I thought your father knows her real well. Though. Well, yes, I did, but she said she didn't want to interfere. Kelly hasn't been in the hospital for very long. No, but it could be worse every day if she's not being properly treated. <clears throat> well, uh, you do realize, don't you, that this is a, not a legal problem, it's a medical one. Don't, don't think a district attorney or uh, a judge knows what she needs. I think a doctor knows what she needs. Well, maybe if you talk to him, you could convince him to at least let us see her, and he would at least consider it. Have you talked to him? Well, I've never met the man. But you're the DA. I'm sure he'd listen to you before he'd listen to me anyway. Well, gee, I don't think I can get involved in this. No. Nope. Well, not even as a personal favor? No, you know, especially not as a personal favor. I have a murder charge waiting for Kelly, and as Cruz pointed out once, uh, when you do a favor for someone, sometimes it's not in your best interests. I say, well, thanks, uh, Keith. Uh, that was well stated. Forgive us for wasting your time. No, not at all. Gee, I'm sorry. I couldn't help. Listen, I have to make a phone call. I'll uh, be back soon. Well, he was a huge help. Or at least we tried, right? What are you going to do? Well, I'll try Rawlings one more time. Maybe he'll let me see her just to shut me up. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Uh, thanks for everything. Bye, Santana. You know, this was the reason I stayed at the Capitol House. I was trying to figure out some way to get him in to see her. I'm sorry for the way I acted earlier. No, forget it. The important thing is that you got Brandon. We got Brandon. It's a big day for a little family, huh? What do you say we get together tonight, the three of us, celebrate? I'd like that. Have dinner? For that matter, I'm starving right now. You want to have lunch? Oh, I'd love to. Keith has invited me to join him. Would you mind a threesome? You know, you know, actually, I, I should get back to the office. I'll just grab something on the way. I, uh... I will see you tonight, though. Bye, Chris. Come again, and mine. Kelly is not going to be allowed visitors until I think she's ready. And when will that be? That's something I cannot predict. What room is she in? If you don't leave, young lady, I'm going to have the security guards escort you out. All right, don't bother. I'll find it myself. I won't have you disturbing my patients. You let go of me or I'll slap a lawsuit on you, sir. I'd do what the lady says if I were you, pal. Who are you? I'm Inspector Castillo with the Santa Barbara police. And what do you want? I'm here on business. I have a court order allowing Ms. Capwell to visit her sister. It's all perfectly in order, I assure you. Now, where is the patient? This is not a normal procedure. There's been no inquiry, no... Look, man, I've had a bad day. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Now, please get us the patient now. I'll get her. But I won't be responsible for the adverse effects this may have on Kelly. You were right on the spot. Well, why don't you not? That's all you need to see. How'd you do it? Well, we got a whole file in town looking for these things downtown. I just packed up the stuff and drove over. Good thing he didn't check us, of course. Thank you so much. No problem. She means a lot to me, too, you know. Yeah, I know. Kelly? Kelly? I've missed you so much. I missed you so much. You have to come home real soon. Can I? Isn't this? No, but I was in your room this morning. And I saw that old picture we took when we were in Catalina. I was thinking maybe I could bring it here for your own room. Remember, we went sailing with Cruz and Joe? You were here before. Yeah, I was here. You're eating? Yeah, I'm eating.
Ellie, you get to come home real soon. Aiden, hi. They won't let me cry. Well, not today, but real soon. Sure. Yeah, I am. And, and there's Ted and Mason, Daddy and Mama. But I, I never see them. I know that's because they won't let us come and visit you. But we love you very much. And I promise you, I'll come every single day. They can't keep me away, I promise you. I don't like it here. What are they giving you? Are they giving you a lot of medication? I want to go home. Uh, that's enough for now, Miss Kendall. Oh, please, just a few more minutes, please. If you value your sister's well-being, I wouldn't put any more of a strain on her today, court order or no court order. Kelly, I'm sorry. No, I've got to go. Don't go. Come on, Kelly. Be a good girl. Leave me alone. Come Kelly. on, Eden, Kelly. Eden, don't leave me. No. I'll be back real Eden, soon, don't. I promise. Eden, don't go. I promise. Kelly. Help me, please, Eden. I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. 